All right, so just starting a through hike of the Ouachita Trail um, in Calamina State Park in Oklahoma. About 230 miles. Plan is to hike it in about eight days. I'm very excited to be back on trail. It's been a while since I've done a solo through hike like this. Beautiful day today, so yeah, we'll see what this trail has in store for me. Day two, watch that trail. Very cold night last night. Save the first shelter. I think it's called the Rock Garden Shelter. I'm kind of reminded why I don't like staying in shelters is just other people there snoring and you know they were being obnoxious or anything, but I'd just rather have been in my tent. There are no good places to set up my tent, but oh well. Rolling now, slept okay. I was up for periods of time, but plan for today is just to roll do about 30 miles and just see more of what this trail has in source. Got my Starbucks via iced coffee this morning. Not too bad. Late breakfast, early lunch, ramen, refried beans. So some thoughts on the trail so far. It's been beautiful. Weather has been great. It was pretty cold last night and this morning. Didn't really want to stay long at that shelter and eat my food and enjoy myself because I was just so cold. But it's warmed up quite a bit now and it's really nice out. The trail reminds me a bit of the Appalachian Trail in the Shenandoahs from the perspective that it's kind of up on this ridge and it's not too difficult. There's like a scenic like drive parallel to the trail. But what's different is here, there is nobody. I've All I've heard today is just a couple cars from the road maybe two or three, and I haven't even seen another human since I left the, the shelter this morning. Definitely find some solitude out here. All right, this is the Ford right here. Don't think I want to do it twice, so I'll just uh, put the tripod and hold it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's cold. Oh my God, it's cold. Woo! The upper Kiamachi River Wilderness trailhead here and nobody here. All right, we're gonna have to forward this. All right, very cold morning, if you can't tell how bundled up I am. Got my pant legs rolled up to this, this crossing here. See the pants stay rolled up, they're falling down. Oh boy, water is cold. We want to have 
your body facing upstream. And just be careful because the rocks can be very, very slippery. Oh, we're across. Oh, my feet are frozen. Last night when I was looking for a place to camp, there's one spot I was gonna go to, but um, it wasn't really a good spot. It was a bit overgrown and there wasn't like a good flat spot for my tent. So I decided to go on. There's another one a mile down the trail, which was fine, but it was getting dark and I went to pull out my headlamp and I don't know if it was turned on in my pack or I just had old batteries in there, but it died going down the hill. So I'd be using my phone light and I ended up like sticking it under the strap, like using my phone flashlight as a headlamp. So. I'm like five miles out from the, the lodge right now, so I'm gonna try to find some extra batteries. It's supposed to be a bit warmer today, but we got up on this ridge and the wind is is pretty cold up here. So much for it being warmer today. Other than that, it's pretty good in the this morning, a bunch of river crossings and it was cold and then it finally warmed up a bit down the valley. But damn, once you got up here, I'm freezing again. So um yeah, we're really looking forward to the lodge and uh, and a warm hot lunch today. All right, rolling up to the lodge here. Kind of a bizarre place, giving me like shining type of vibes. finally warm enough for me to take off that blue fleece I've been wearing I think for like four days maybe three days in a row look almost too bright with this brand new uh, uh, hiking shirt so I'll have to get it dirty I don't know if you can see all that smoke but hopefully it's a prescribed burn I don't know how many, too, how many forest fires they have here Thank you to all the volunteers. The trail is very well maintained. Big brushy 26.4. As the truck goes by. Day here for day number four. First day that it's been pretty rainy. Um, it really hasn't been too bad, just kind of drizzly and misty, but definitely cold a little bit, but I mean, it could be a lot worse. Plan for today is there's a shelter, should be 21 miles up the trail so hopefully i can get there before dark today and then if it rains tonight that way you know i'm protected and don't have to pack up wet gear in the morning and then hike all day wednesday and then get into the bluebell thursday morning and it looks like the weather is really supposed to to warm up the rest of the week and then be more like summer hiking with like you know a chance for afternoon thunderstorms and ice even saw a high in the 80s for later in the week, which just seems completely bizarre given how cold it's been on this trip so far.
there's a skunk up there. I think I'm gonna give it a pretty wide berth and not bother it because I do not want to get skunked. It is right on the trail. Hey! Hey! Not running away when I yell at it. So we're gonna go this way. Looks like a controlled burn here. See the left side is all burnt, but not the right side. Interesting. here for uh, day number five, Owachita Trail. Um, so let's see, yesterday, I really was pushing hard to make it to the shelter before dark, cold and wet and foggy yesterday. So I was very happy to stay in the shelter. I just made it, got there around 7.30, which is right around when it gets dark here. So that was great. Shelter all to myself, slept well, and it's been so much warmer today than that it has been it's pretty crazy it's pretty buggy and humid today uh bugs are starting to come out a little bit not moving back so the plan for the rest of the day is there's a shelter which should be maybe 22 miles away from here so again hopefully i can get there before dark today and then that would set me up for like four or five into the bluebell on thursday and i'm pretty low on food i got like i think six six bars left for today and tomorrow. Hopefully I should have just enough. I might get a little hungry, but I'm um, sure I can make up those calories at the Blue Bell tomorrow morning. Not raining today, enjoy the warm, warm weather and there's some views today, so, so that's good. All right, mile 100. Bridge has seen better days. Flooded from the rain yesterday. of my Fritos and then some olive oil and then all I have left is one other cliff bar. Uh, day six I think waiting for a ride to go into the Blue Bell Cafe we should have some good food for me and my resupply and hopefully I can charge up my stuff. I'm here in the car with uh, Stash Money, or Money Stash. I already messed it up. <laughs> but he helped me out a lot, gave me his uh, power brick because he's getting off trail and mine wasn't really charging. 
super well down at the cafe, so I should have enough juice between the one I had that's like half charge and his, so really helped me out to, to finish the last hundred miles here. So shout out to Money Stash, Stash Money with that epic stash. flood debris for iron forks and that is about the height of my shoulders. Busting it up this climb here. Oh, feels so good. Sun's heading behind me. And getting to make it to the shelter is like two miles away. So, yeah, look at that sunset. Just very aerobic going up this climb here. Nothing too crazy out here, but very, very fun. I'm really hoping I'm gonna have it all to myself tonight with the rain that's coming tomorrow and looks like I got my wish so so happy right now Obviously, it's a pretty wet one today. They were saying one to two inches of rain yesterday. Then it really started coming down hard. I heard a loud crack of thunder, and then all of a sudden the heavens opened up, and it's just been raining pretty hard uh, the last, say, at least an hour, maybe hour and a half. Fortunately, it's not that cold, so my core temperature should be okay. This is, you know, the number one thing to worry about hiking in the rain. It is pretty shitty hiking in this weather. Um, you know, I could always, you know, hike at night, um, at least try to get to the next shelter today, at the very least. Finally starting to clear up. It's been a crazy last few hours, which I'm gonna talk about when I get to the shelter and can sit down. A couple other people at the shelter, so I'll do this update just a little bit away from them. Two cool guys also through hike and eastbound. The last section from the last shelter did not do much filming until the very end because it just started just absolutely dumping cats and dogs for maybe a solid two hours. It was really, really coming down hard. And all the drainages started really building up with water to the point where I'd say it was definitely starting to flash flood. And there's this one stream where the water was up to my thighs. And it was really fast, a kind of a silty brown water. And it was pretty sketchy to be honest and um yeah I, obviously i went for it almost got knocked over by the current it was so strong but was able to you know use a good technique face up stream use my poles concentrate what i was doing make sure i didn't slip and 
it wasn't very wide, so, so I made it through, fortunately. A mile from the shelter, it finally stopped raining, and the sun actually came out for a little bit. Grateful to be at the shelter and have the last two days be sunny days here as I finish this hike, so yeah. All right, we gotta pour this. Glad it wasn't here yesterday. You can see some of the flood marks. Wow, that's like over my head. So um, if it's not that bad, I'll set up the tripod and do it again. All right, I only went about halfway across again. Uh, I did not feel super safe, felt like I was going to slip, so um, hopefully that footage I got will be good enough. We made it to the top of a flat side pinnacle, absolutely beautiful, hands down best view on the trail so far. Sun's out, it's about noon right now, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Yesterday was just so crazy with that rain. Yeah, about 12 miles today exactly to be up here. And uh, gonna do at least 30 today. So um, yeah, we'll see where I end up camping, but just beautiful day and enjoy the weather, dry my stuff out and keep cruising. This area was completely underwater yesterday. Damn. Well, at least they don't make you afford that, because that would be impossible. All right, made it up here. Last campsite on trail, last night on trail. Just had this beautiful spot overlooking the river. And I just want to get a picture of it now. I still have a little bit of daylight, but Damn, just under 30 today, not bad. So uh, let's do a quick update here. Um, day nine, stop to just dry some stuff out and uh, just gear up for the rest of the day. Got one more kind of lunch, ramen and refried beans, and then get packed up and get rolling, really trying to make the miles happen quickly to uh, get to Pinnacle and hopefully do Pinnacle Mountain and be trying to hitch into town uh, before it's too late. Made it to the East Summit Trailhead. Not officially the Wachita, but should be a nice, make for a great finish to this hike. So it's supposed to be a bit of a scramble, so we'll see how it is when we get up there. Mm -hmm. 